Hello, uh, good morning uh, from Da Vinci Studio School in Stevenage. Hi, I'm Chadni Chavda and I'm the engineering graduate. I'm based in York and I've been working at Nestle for one year. Good morning, I'm Martin Farah. Um, as you can see, I'm not an apprentice or a graduate anymore. Uh, I've been at Nestle something like 27 years. Uh, I actually started as an apprentice, went to be a graduate and eventually became a group engineer. Just to give you a bit of a background to uh, Nestle, uh, we're quite a, a sophisticated organisation in this country. We've got 16 different sites covering confectionery, uh, coffee, beverage, as we call it. Uh, Purina Pet Care, which is all the pet food business. Uh, waters and uh, cereal partners, which, which make, make some of our favourite cereals. So that's quite a, a large area for, for me to cover because I'm actually responsibility for all those different factories. Good morning, my name's uh, Matt. I'm a fourth year apprentice at the York site. Um, I'm currently in uh, the polar plant where I manufacture the, the mint with the hole as such. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a third year engineering apprentice and I'm currently working in KitKat 4 where we make four finger and chunky. Right, we're ready for any questions. Uh, hello, I'm Owen. I'm taking engineering. Um, my question is, how is engineering used at Nestle? Currently, or, or in the past, we used to have people manufacturing product by hand, but now we have machines manufacturing product, and it's the people that are coming into contact with those machines. So engineering is from uh, the chemical design or the structure of the, the microstructures of the, the product itself, all the way through to uh, the machine design, the machine programming, machine implementation, and uh, machine maintenance. It's Virtually, a factory is engineering. There is nothing that isn't engineering inside it. And engineers don't just get involved in the actual manufacturing assets themselves, but absolutely everything that, that happens on site as well. So even the buildings and the car parks and the, the trees and everything else, it's all, it's all part of our planning and, and what we do to sort of make, make the, uh, the process as efficient as possible. Hi, I'm Connor. And uh, my question is, what is the most interesting part of your job? For, for me, engineering is, um, is the embodiment of people and machines. And actually, it's great to meet lots of people, because our machines have to work with these people. But you meet people from different suppliers and, and customers, and that, that's great as well. But, but thinking about the actual machinery, to, de to design a machine, we're not talking about little machines, but but machines that maybe cost £10 million. And to think our person is actually going to actually use it and live with that machine. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to sort of work with different people and design the machine around that. So it's not just a case of designing a machine that makes something, but the way that it actually works with other people is a, a tremendous opportunity. Hi, uh, I'm Ashley. And uh, uh, what qualifications do you need to get an apprenticeship at Nestle? So initially, um, you start off basically just needing five GCSEs. Um, I think they have to include, is it science? Maths, Maths English. and English. All at grade C or above. Um, Although you've got your five GCSEs, a lot of people have got that. You need to have an interest and an enthusiasm more than anything else, I think, is what we look for. So if you were to think about all of you guys going to apply for an apprenticeship or going to apply for a job, you're all going to come out of your education with basically the same qualifications. So if you go on to uh, do a further qualification, you're better in yourself and you're already above everybody else who is sort of just applying on having, um, which is absolutely fine to do because we still employ people with that, um, having the baseline, if that makes sense. So you're just making it better in yourself all the time, aren't you? But it's not necessarily like another qualification. It could just be a week's work experience or exactly. a day shadowing an engineer, just something to show that it is actually what you want to do. Even down to doing simple things like uh, saying that you have a motorbike that you tinker with. I know I got asked about that on my interview. Um, one thing that I'm looking for, one of the things, is somebody who's curious. Curiosity. You know, actually thinking, how does that work? You know? And if you can give examples of, of where you've thought that and, and actually figured out how something works or fix something, that's so valuable. What ratio do you f have for males to females uh, for your graduate intake? 
On the graduate intake, so um, I started the scheme one year ago, and on my intake there were it was me and two other girls who were graduated, uh, who were hired, and also one um, guy was hired. And this year's intake, there's one guy and one girl, so it's a really good ratio. There are there are loads of girls on the scheme. And and, and do you think that uh, 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 everybody else in the company does take female engineers seriously? Definitely. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I've been working here for one year and ev everything I've said has been very valid. Everyone's um, taken everything on board. I've got so much responsibility here. Um, I'm running my own projects, which my manager's given to me. And I feel I bring a different kind of feel to the team and to the projects and the way I deal with things. Um, so yeah, everyone really does respect my opinions and what I say and yeah. I think on the production aspects in terms of engineering, in the past, it was probably quite low, but I think that is changing so rapidly. As you can see here, I would guess within a few years it's going to be 50-50. That's, that's probably going to happen. And an, another thing which illustrates this is that the, the chief executive of the business is female. That's Fiona Kendrick. And also the, 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 uh, the leader of the PTC, which is a big department on the site, is also female as well. So that's definitely right in the right direction. Uh, can I uh, take this opportunity and propose a vote of thanks, guys? Uh, uh, thank you very much, at everybody at Nestle, for taking your valuable time out and having a conversation with us. Uh, um, as far as I'm concerned, it was really inspiring for me to really have this opportunity to talk to you, everybody, right from uh, uh, the principal designer. Uh, I don't know, know your uh, uh, designation, but I think the principal designer to the graduate uh, entry uh, engineer to apprentices. I think uh, we have had a chance to speak to everybody um, in engineering there, uh, and I'm sure all our students uh, had the will feel the same as I am. Uh, can I propose a vote of thanks and have a, a clap of hands, please? Thank you very much, guys. It was really thanks. interesting <laughs> to speak to yourselves too. Really yeah, thank you so much. It was really good to speak to everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>